Uh, this is continuation to um, setting up at the base of the uh, Inru robot. I've drilled it, as you can see, but I haven't actually put any grease in. So I thought uh, I was just checking that it all went together. I painted it, and uh, you've seen this bit before, I think. But I've added the structure on the bottom and I've put a load of bolts in because uh, I wasn't quite sure how it was meant to go together. So I put bolts through it and bolts through the side. Uh, and a bolt through the middle there and the tube sits in there obviously um, so it's quite structural well, that's the idea anyway so I'm just going to take it apart because um, as I said there's no grease in it so I don't want that and I'll just get onto that so I'll just put you on pause for a few minutes So that top section comes off, that's the structural piece. I've just uh, put that in there. It's not actually holding the pot, it's just in case the uh, pole comes crashing through and crushes the inside. So I'll just plug that back in again. So I'm going to fill up that section with grease, but I need to get the uh, motors connected up. So that's it for the moment. The place is making the most noise was in these corners, so that's, that's stopped now. And so it gets in the end there, which it is. Yeah, it's definitely getting in order. Oh, I think that's really good. It's running really smoothly. And these bits. in there obviously so that should hold yeah that's a lot more than well. so I've just got to put that back to 90 we're not in the right position here so it's 90 on easy B and use the hot milk gun and just fix that in place and then test it all again so that's it for the minute And so that's at as uh, that's at ninety. That's at forty-five degrees. That one there. It's one hundred and thirty-five. There. I just fix that together with a bit of hot mark because that keeps moving around, and then. Screws back in, test it again, put some more screws in there just so that's all locked up, test it again, screw that on, and then I'm going to mount that back on the stand, put the ball bearings in, put the grease in, and put the robot back together again. So that's the plan. So um, hopefully soon. Right, this is the camera stand I modded. Um, I don't know if you can see that, actually, I'll show you. I've just put a, I bought this is a, um, a a base for a loudspeaker. It's a, um, a spigot, I think they call them, which sits in the base of the loudspeaker. Um, I packed it out with a bit of wood and I've just bolted it through the base of the uh, video camera stand that I had. So, uh, just so you might not want to know, here's the view down the middle. Yeah, let's stop working. Stop making noise. That's at 90.
So you can see that is all that's straight effectively. See if I bring it up, you can see the bolts line up with the holes. And it does seem to it will stop making the noise in a second. Alright, I'm gonna put the robot on then. Alright, time for a really messy bit now. So <laughs> once I've done this, it's gonna be a real pain to uh, tidy up if I ever want to take it apart again. So I've sort of been avoiding putting all the grease on. Because I've covered it at the moment. a lot better than it was it was, it was making a, when I did a dry test on it it was really frightening the noise it was making it's, a, it's very heavy this now and I remember we've got the arms on so um but that is it takes quite a bit of pressure to swing it around there this, uh, you can see how that whole thing is moving that's why I think uh, Mind you, if I tighten that up at, on the bottom, that's going to take a bit of that pressure off of it. Anyway, got to align those holes up in the middle. You can see that just aligning there uh, with a couple of bolts. So the whole thing is just hanging on those two bolts. Uh, there are bolts in the side, but I don't think I can get to them anymore. Which will be underneath the... Uh... No, I've got a chance of getting to those. So it's the two, they're quite hefty though, I mean they've got to snap off. Right, I think you can see that, let's move that into a bit better. I've connected up the um, the tilt, the left and right tilt, so the whole thing will rotate that way. To get it to sit vertical, which it is, I think. Might be a millimeter out, but it's roughly there. So just bring the camera in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. For the moment, that would do. Um, <clears throat> but to to get that position, um, I've actually got the servo sitting at 100 rather than 90, and to get back into the pot, which is really difficult to get to, and took me ages to set up the first time, which is inside. I think I'm going to leave it at 100 um, and just compensate, just have that as an offset. Um, that's my plan at the moment anyway. I don't want to try and get back into that servo because it's really hard to, to reach um, and I'll probably break everything. So I've got it working at the moment, so it's going to do. 